At this time, Ms. Bethany Gates, the senior class president, will share a few thoughts with the class of 2012. Good afternoon, esteemed board members, administrators, teachers, parents, and family members. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for our class, the class of 2012. To say the least, seniors, I think you can agree with me on this. This year has been overwhelming. Our class has withstood countless obstacles placed in front of us. And although it has been a troublesome process from the rise of a new sponsor to an account balance of only $150, we did it. In this year alone, we fundraised as a class over $30,000 and made 2012 a year to remember. As we reflect, I ask you to take a walk down memory lane with me. At the beginning of the year, we were the underdog. Yet, who came and dominated the spirit contest? In the end, we earned the spirit stick and it was placed in our hands where it rightfully belonged. Remember how we cheered our, our lungs out at the last football games of the year, helping the Eagle football team to victory. Remember those countless hours of doing homework all night because it was due the next morning. Remember prom night, where we smiled, laughed, cried, and for the last time in our high school career, danced the night away. All of those precious moments are now to be considered treasured memories forevermore. Memories that have led us to reach this very special point in our lives. The point where we become servicemen and women, part of the armed forces, working members of society, or college students. And although we will eventually adopt different titles, we will always be a part of the George W. Brackenridge High School's graduating class of 2012. Congratulations, everyone. As I had mentioned before, our salutatorian was unfortunately unable to be here with us this afternoon. So at this time, it is my privilege to introduce the top scholar of the graduating class of 2012. Our valedictorian is the daughter of Oscar Castillo and Juana Salazar. As a student at Brackenridge High School, she has been in the orchestra, the robotics club for three years, where she served as president during her first year, academic decathlon for four years, the DECA organization for three years, where she served as president for this year, and the National Honor Society for two years, where she also served as president for this year. She will attend Bowdoin College in Brunswick, May, where she plans to major in earth and oceanographic science with a minor in chemistry. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present our valedictorian, Ms. Itzel Rosales. To the class of 2012, you are your own stories and therefore free to imagine and experience what it is what it means to be human. This day is a day of transition. It is a change from a sometimes carefree youth to a life of trial and error, growth and maturity. Congratulations on writing that very first chapter of your journey. Graduation is not the end of an education or friendships. It is the commencement of your life. You now have full reign over your destiny. You're free to explore, dream, and most of all, discover. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you did not do than those you did. Therefore, throw off the bowlines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, and explore, dream, and discover. Become empowered with life's experiences. Attest to your struggles and stand witness to the light of your own success and academic achievement. Do not forget the people that have helped you come this far. Do not forget those that have made a difference in your life. Teachers, parents, and staff, congratulations to you too for being a part of an amazing class, for having helped us and advised us. And finally, graduates, let this day be forever remembered as the day the class of 2012 set the standard of learning and achieving. Thank you.